just testing this new camera. I have this camera, which is a body-worn camera that has a couple of attachments to it. And I thought it might be interesting to see it is, is it, will it perform for paranormal investigating. Now, I tried it out at home with the uh, automatic manual both of those modes which switches the uh, camera from ordinary ordinary uh, uh, video recording to night vision now when you have a camcorder that has a night vision mode you have one bulb this tiny little box which is about that size that you will see police officers and security guards using has six night vision bulbs and actually the night vision seems to perform very good in the house and stuff um, what it has got is got attachments that can be screwed into a police uniform I have that attachment on, on my police jacket but um, there is other attachments, like little clips and that, so you can clip it onto your clothes. I thought it might be a, an extra little addition to cover more areas with cameras. So you have this, you have this little camera um, that's hooked onto your jacket, and it records in good night vision all around. So no matter what the light conditions are, you are sort of uh, you're sort of covered there. So and I never seen them being used in uh, paranormal investigations. I more seen them uh, being used um, at the, the the small cameras that I normally see used is GoPro cameras. But I just find the buttons very very small. The controls of this camera is. Uh, right down the sides um, the record button is in orange you just press it a red light flashes on the top of it Bob's your uncle you don't have to go messing with where's this button where's that button and changing modes and stuff this camera changes from night vision to day vision depending on the light conditions so you don't have to touch it the other neat feature is if you take off the camera like I've done it here you can also get an attachment that can stick your camera to your um, to your windscreen of your car and you can use it as a you can use it as a dash cam you can also loop your recordings which means if you use it as a dash cam and you're recording and you get to the end where your card is filled up you can actually record over the oldest recordings and start again uh, but you can actually turn that feature off which I've done it on this because I'm going to be using it for paranormal investigating and out exploring and stuff like that so uh, yeah there's a, there's a, and you know the setup wasn't that complicated you get some of these cameras with loads of buttons, loads of different settings, with loads of different numbers that you don't know anything about. It was just simple to set up. Now, the one that I have here um, comes from a company that specializes in tracking devices for cars and stuff like that. And they have this as one of their products. Thing is, you can go on the internet and you will find this camera in a number of different brands. And that's kind of common now because you have, you know, these Bofang walkie talkies, the original company, but you have that product also under different companies. But basically it's the same product, you know. Uh, the camera also has a 32 gig 
internal memory. Um, it has an SD card slot, which I, it's not working at the moment, but I think it's to do with a setting where you have to change from the internal memory to external memory, like the, the memory card. I still have to look into that, but at the moment, it's pretty, it's performing pretty good. Doing an investigation tomorrow night, and this camera will be used along with a new night vision camera that I camcorder that I bought. So I'm kind of covering a lot of areas by using the camcorder and using this type type of of security technology as well. So you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, the great thing about this, this performs so well. I, you know, I was nearly going to risk just doing the investigation with this camera, but just in case. Now, I did see uh, YouTube videos on this, and apparently the uh, camera uh, battery lasts for hours and hours. Um, but I'm not going to take the word for it, and I'm going to bring the charger as well. So, while we are having our supper, I will recharge the battery and possibly bring a laptop just in case we get more footage than we bargained for and our internal memory fills up which means during our break time we can take our files off we can take our files off and put it on the uh, the um, laptop you know stuck in traffic we've had a fire in town last night and possibly one of the streets is closed which means clogged up streets on the outskirts. I don't like going right through the middle of the city. I kind of go through the top road of the city, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like a bypass. Oh, good job of not going the other way. There's cars everywhere. Um, yeah, we're doing a uh, doing an investigation coming up. Um, we're going to be putting this camera through its paces. We're also going to be putting through when you spur a box with the little manual motorized tuning, which I can't get the fully test in the house because of signal issues. But when I tested it in my friend's house, it worked. So I'm going to be looking forward to. going to be looking but people have no patience people have no patience but uh lost my train of talk there but uh yes i, I had a an analog radio which i converted to a servo motor to do a scan which means i have a controller on it that can actually control the speed of the scan which I'm going to be testing out tomorrow as well. Now, I'm hoping not to overclutter myself with technology. But we are going to be bringing the, uh, these devices with us. Which uh, I'm, going to, I'm looking forward to testing. I don't even know if this camera is on shot. This camera actually has a bigger scope than the camcorder that I use. So, um, it's, what is it, 140 degrees. So it's kind of got a wider angle lens than actually my camera has. My, uh, my Sony night shot. My ordinary Sony has an external wide angle lens, but it's absolutely useless at night time. Especially doing an investigation where people just don't want any white light. You know, sometimes I investigate with these people that just don't want torches. They want to be in the pitch dark and that, and that, that we found it very, we found it a challenge. But we overcome that challenge by buying night vision equipment, you know? And this is, one idea I haven't seen any investigator doing is using a police 
camera, police body camera, to use in investigations because very often you'll see these action cams and they're mounted into hats and stuff. But I just find them a little bit, I just find them a little bit um, flimsy. That's right, open the door while I'm just passing. Right? Um, I just find them a little bit uh, finicky with the small buttons and stuff. So uh, that's why we're going to be using this camera. Um, it's got a very robust shell too. So if you sort of drop it, it's highly unlikely you're going to bust it, you know. Right, I'm kind of at my destination now. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow night or when I... I'm going to move up a little bit here. Um, yes, I have an investigation coming up. I haven't been very well. In fact, I've been very unwell. But, uh, yeah. Um, looking forward to the investigation coming up for me tomorrow night but um, because I don't do lives the first upload will be in a couple of days but um, yeah we're looking forward because we've got two people we've got myself and Rachel fingers crossed between the two of us there's going to be four cameras running Fingers crossed that this other camera turns up. If not, it's going to be three cameras. So she'll have a camcorder. I'll have a camcorder. I definitely have the body camera that I'm filming on now. And Rachel will have her body camera if it has turned up. And that's what I'm going to find out right now. But I'm going to leave for now, folks. Um, a big appreciation for all the people that... Uh, that is supporting us in our, our little videos and stuff so um i will see you in the next video